Welcome, my friends. Welcome to the Nightmare Cinema Club. This video has been a long time coming. Uh, I have this friend over there in the States. Um, his name is Chris. You might know him as the throwback drummer. But um, sometimes me and him don't agree on a lot of things. And uh, this is one of it. Sometimes we bump it about movies. And I mean, he considers himself a great movie buff. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a rundown. We're going to have a first episode that's called A Bloody Mess. And uh, we're going to have a rundown of our picks of the Halloween movies, all 13 of them. Now, I know this is going to piss off certain people or a lot of people because some people like chicken, some people like steak, you know. So I don't like necessarily the same movies he likes. So we're going to see where this goes. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down in, the, in the, the video later on to go check out his drumming channel. Please go and support this guy. He's an amazing guy. He's an amazing friend. He's an amazing guy all over. And he's not as dumb as he looks. So, <laughs> let's get into this. A bloody mess. <laughs> hey, Chris, how are you? Good. How you doing, Boo? Uh, yeah, you know, you know South Africa, bro. You know, it's uh, we're in darkness again. We're in darkness. <laughs> I just got my, I just got my coffee. I got coffee. You got beer. That's we're sucks, ready to okay. go. <laughs> and I want to say thanks well, for having me on this video, man. This is going to be a blast. Yeah, well, well I, I hope we don't make too many Halloween fans angry. I mean, I'm an adamant Halloween fan, just as yourself. I mean, I'm looking at that shirt of yours. You're, a, you're hardcore, definitely. That's, that looks... If anybody, if anybody in the comments can tell me from what movie that picture comes off, I'll send you a box of fresh air. <laughs> That's uh, that's what I, I I know where that thing comes comes from. Fresh air, exactly. you can't just give away fresh air. <laughs> I can't give give away fresh air. Why not? Are you, you're familiar with uh, whose line is it anyway? Of course. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's where. It, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I, given that given that little reference that we just got, I don't think that we're gonna butt heads as much as we think we are. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, no, we'll see. But I mean, uh, you, you're my guest, so what we're gonna do is. I'm going to uh, let you tell me your number 13 pick. What we're doing, my friends, is we're going to run down these movies from 13 to number one. Chris is going to give his and I'm going to give mine. And we're going to have a little discussion on why we didn't like or dislike the movies. So, Mr. Chris, Mr. Rocco, I call him Rocco because he reminds me of so he's still alone. He's just... He, 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 <laughs> Can you wait a minute before we start? Can you imagine Sylvester Stallone acting in one of these movies? Oh, it'd be yeah. it'd be entertainment. It'd be pure entertainment right there for me. I would think yeah. of that as yeah. like yeah. an absolute crazy mess. But it'd be yeah, but, okay. As who would you play Sylvester Stallone, Michael Myers, or somebody else? Uh, I would see him as in a prequel as a uh, young Doctor Loomis. That won't work. I know. <laughs> Can you imagine hey, Sylvester hey, Stallone hey, trying hey, to do hey, his yo, accent? Hey, yo, hey, yo, Michael. Hey, yo, Michael. Yo. I only saw pure evil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the devil's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. Actually, well, okay, well, go with your, what is your number 13 pick? So when I say 13 pick, that is that's the worst. That's the that's the worst movie in the series. So what is your worst movie for you in the series? All right. So for my number 13, I have to go with pull it up here. I have to go with Halloween Resurrection. The Buster Rhymes one. I thought that that was just an absolute atrocious mess from beginning to end. Um, mainly what got it to me was one, <laughs> you kill off, <laughs> one, you kill off uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in the opening scene. That's yeah. one horrible thing. Yeah. Uh, Buster Rhymes just speaks for itself. I mean, Kung Fu kicking Buster Rhymes was just probably one of the worst <laughs> things ever for me um of all the things that could outdo like you know that could put down michael myers but 
Kung Fu kicking Buster Rhymes? No. I'm sorry. You just lost me there. And um, I just thought that the look of Michael looked, looked awful. I think he looked the worst out of all. The mask was horrible. The physique was horrible. Um, and the whole thing with the... Uh, sorry, I know I'm going a long rant here, but the one thing no, about no, the, it, um, the internet reality show, like how it was very early, just it, it also gave it a more dated feel. So I just, I just think that there's really no redeeming factor to that one and that's why it's my number 13. I agree. I totally agree. Oh, good. <laughs> I agree, but it's not my it's not my 13th pick. Okay. Mm. All right. I would love to hear this. Let's see. It. Let's hear it. Halloween 2. Ooh. 1981. Wow, I got to hear this. The original sequel. I don't have a lot to say about this because it's bad acting. The acting is so bad. I mean, there's parts in that movie where Jamie Lee Curtis looks like a deer caught in the headlights. That one scene, there's one, well, there's a lot of scenes, but there's that, that one specific scene at the end of the movie where she falls down and she can't shout. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> and then the people go into the hospital and then she gets up and runs and then she's ah! <laughs> what, what was with the whole park and <laughs> what was with that what, what, uh, it, it's just a bad way for me to follow a, a classic an absolute classic like the 1978 original oh, so, so you say that it is like the it's just a big letdown from the original yeah, definitely. Okay. It's like it, right. it was. It was up here, and then all of a sudden, it was down. Wow! Of now, all the movies, two, two is your wow. Okay, all right, all yep. right. Yep. Okay, that's uh, that's a little shocking to me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you this is. I told you this is gonna be interesting. Oh uh, man! Oh. Okay. Well, we well we got through our number thirteen pick. So. Um, Sorry, again, for the Halloween fans there. I mean, I guess. But Chris, what's your number 12 pick? Let's get to this. Right. So number 12, I got to go with Halloween 2 by Rob Zombie. Now, the reason why I put this in there is because I don't even know. It was like, it, it kind of showed me that they really had no plan for a sequel. They just completely went off the rails and like like, 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 were, my, like my Halloween too if you think about it that yeah yeah I think that really like you know you you had I mean we'll get into the ha Halloween remake you know the first one by Rob Zombie later but uh -huh. when I watched this one it was just it was just a mess it, it just took whatever the first one was and just like completely made it even like you know just just completely downgraded everything it upped the whole white trashiness um you know we got got guys talking about banging dead body oh baby it's triple he's in the in, in the cop car mm -hmm. For one yeah. thing, you know that just sets a tone right there. But also, yeah, but that's what, that's Rob Zombie. I mean, that's that's the way his movies are made. I mean, he has his I, own specific I style of making agree. movies. I, I completely mean, agree. It just it just wasn't really for me what a Halloween movie should have been. Rob Zombie should stick with his own movies. You know, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, um, uh, Three from Hell. He should stick with those types of movies. He does those well, but. I mean, I love Rob Zombie. You know, from my drumming channel, you know I love his music. I mean, you and me have collabed on a on a Rob Zombie song. Yeah, Dragula. So, um, yeah, we're huge Rob Zombie fans, but I don't think these were. Well, I agree with you. The Halloween movies he did, not, 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 no, not, not. Yeah. Okay. And so I you, think yeah. I, I think there's one more thing to add about that was that um, you know, like I think the most iconic thing about Michael Myers is his look his mask and everything and almost the whole movie he was almost the whole movie he was unmasked he was supposed to be shot yeah, yeah. in the face from the previous one there's no bullet wounds or nothing like that and he spoke oh yeah 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 one word that, yeah that, that, like, spo that spoils it that spoils it yeah it's, it's michael, pretty michael so. isn't supposed to he's not he's not supposed to speak at all yeah no i'm with you there so so that that's my number 12. 
Okay. It's not a bad one. My number 12 is uh, your number 13. It's Halloween uh, Resurrection. All the right. 2000, the 2002 one. For the same reasons, if let me just see what I what I got down here. Um, yeah, I just said two words on my uh, description there. Buster rhymes. Buster rhymes. Yep. <laughs> Michael Myers is a killer shark. Baggy ass overalls. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I said. If I could think about the movie very quickly, yeah, the whole internet show in the the Myers house. Hmm. He compared them no. to like basically compared them to Jaws. No, you can't do that. No, no, it was it's it was just horrible. No, so yeah, th there's my reason. Buster Rhymes. I have nothing against the guy's music. I think he should stick to hip hop music, and that's it. Don't become an actor, and don't try to. <sighs> no, sorry. Yep, I agree. I that's agree. It. That's it for me. All right, so we can both agree that Resurrection was was your dog shit. Movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a it's a cuck movie. Let's move on. I agree. Your number, yeah, we should. Your, your number eleven pick. Let's see right. if you, you can shock now, me even more. Yeah. Now my number eleven pick is number eleven. You know, it's not the worst for it, but it might be my most personally hated of the series. Okay. And that is the most recent Halloween ends. Ooh. Halloween ends to me was probably the biggest letdown for me. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why, I mean, this was teased for a couple years, you know, that it was going to end the series. Mm -hmm. um, they've been building up a lot of a lot of different things about Michael Myers that didn't pan out like this whole thing. He wanted to go home from the from Halloween kills in the end. He just wants to go home. He just wants to go to his you know his house his window and where does he go he goes to the sewer what's the good his house his window <laughs> he went to the sewer and then they introduced this new character Corey, who was just a big mm. pain in the yeah. ass like it was, he yeah. did not and then he ends up he he's the one who can take down michael myers with with very little effort and take his mask basically it just it just completely downgraded the character of michael myers and Definitely. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. You're you're completely right on that one. The, it whoever, was whoever, mm, it whoever was wrote so, that damn thing doesn't know the hell history of. You know the thing with Michael Myers for me, Chris. <clears throat> he's he's one yeah. of those villains. He doesn't need a, not a lot of explanation. It, the less you know of him, the better for me. I don't want to know. With how he became insane, I don't want to know how he became what he did. I don't want to know that. I like the whole original John Carpenter idea of this one night, this little boy just snapped and killed his sister, and that's it, you know? Mm -hmm. and yeah. I, yeah I, 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 don't, I don't want to I go agree. too much with him. It, it's. Rob Zombie did the same mistake there with his movies. I'm trying to go into his whole family background thing. That that's boring yeah. to me in a, in a way. Well, I mean, I there's definitely a lot more I have to say about the, the point you just told about how like I agree with you. I'm just gonna say I agree with you that it's better when there's less said about him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that Halloween Ends movie was, you know, it just it it basically made Michael Myers look like a little bitch is what it did. It did. Yeah, I and I think that was really, I think the only good thing, the reason why, even though it's my most hated, but I put it higher, like a little uh -huh. bit higher on the list, it's not my worst, is the fact that it does have the, it does have the Halloween look, you know, yeah. he, like Michael Myers himself with the decrepit, like mask and everything like that, he did look really cool, and the, the ending battle between him and Jamie Lee Curtis was a little bit of an up for me. Okay. Um, but I just did not like the way it ended. This supposedly ended the series. I don't. I don't think they're going to end it. I think they're going to somehow do another one. Yeah, but I, I mean, I know. I know the ending. Spoiler alert! I guess spoiler alert should be set. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. Just, yeah, I must just say this for anybody who's watching this specific video. If you haven't seen all the movies and we do spoil something, we are sorry. But <laughs> then you have the choice to go out of the video now. Leave. Yes. Go. Go away. Few moments later. So the so there's that spoiler warning. The ending, how they completely.
destroyed Michael Myers' body, you mm -hmm. know, in the... I think it would have been better if maybe that fight took place in the junkyard and somehow led to him going into the shredder, but it was just, hey, we're going to beat him down, cut his wrists, and that kills him. Then we're just going to dispose of him. It just... I just... I thought that the way he went out was terrible, but it had a very little bit of redeeming factors, but that's... Well, I can, I can tell you this. I mean, we made this joke the other day on uh, our, our group that we have. Michael Myers is the only guy that's never been to space, so I'm going to give him that. <laughs> I'll, yep. I'll give him that. Michael yep. Myers has never been in space. Freddy has been in space. Fucking Leprechaun has been in space. Uh, Pernet Jason. has been in space. Jason has been in space. So, yeah. Jeepers Creepers. At least. Jeepers Creepers goes to Pluto. Rated R. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my right. number eleven. My number, number eleven. Eleven pick. It's Halloween two by Rob Zombie. All right. Okay. <laughs> Again, wow, you dude. put Halloween two original Halloween two below the Rob Zombie Halloween two. Yeah. What wow. The fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'll say this one time. Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right, I want to hear this reason. Go ahead, Bob. The, the, the only reason, or one of the reasons I did not like the, the Rob Zombie one is, uh, what's that actor, actress's name? Scott, Scott Taylor Compton, I think, or something like that. The one who played Laurie in mm -hmm. the Rob yes. Zombie one. She, <laughs> no. If you look at Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode and you look at her portrayal of Laurie Strode, Again, it's, it's like testicles. It's, <laughs> it's it's bad. Um, she did. <laughs> she did. Did you ever see that movie, The Runaways, the the Joan Jett movie? No, I didn't. Okay, now she plays Lita Ford in that movie. Okay. She. It's a much better choice in that movie mm. than Laurie Strode. And I think the thing that pissed me off the most about that fucking movie is the the whole Dr. Loomis thing, you know. Now he wants to write a book and make money, cash in on the legend of Michael Myers. That yeah. pissed me off so much because, again, the original Dr. Loomis, he didn't do that. The only thing he wanted to do was stop this evil from getting out there. Not write a book. And I mean, I love Malcolm McDowell. He's one of my all-time favorite actors. Mm -hmm. He's... He's a legend, but no, in that form, I just wanted to fucking kill him. Yeah, I know. I agree. I mean, he, he was a good choice for the remake. I will say that. But um, yeah, the second one, he was he just turned out to a complete asshole. It does not fit with him, but that that's basically it for me. That's it. OK. All right. Awesome. Chris, your number 10 pick. My number 10 pick. Um, and this is for either cut. I'm going to go with Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, the sixth one. Now, and I'm going either cut on this one, the producer's cut or the theatrical cut. Mm -hmm. um, I thought both were pretty bad. Very bad. Um, really what... <laughs> mm -hmm. Really what basically, uh, what basically did it for me was the Thorn Cult. Don't you want to become a cult leader? You know, that cult basically downplaying Michael Myers into a, um, you know, basically a pawn of a cult, you know, yeah. like he's much better as his own, his own entity. Like he only, he works for him. He does what he does for him. Not mm -hmm. because some guy in a, in a, a trench, a big black coat in and a, a hat. In a Batman, in a Batman cave. You know, yeah, exactly. Work. You know, yeah. like it just, that, that was really what put it, you know that that's what i couldn't stand about it um uh and basically you know when you think about it especially the, pr the producer's cut you're talking about he's supposed to kill off his whole lifeline his whole bloodline for the whole myers uh strode thing what does he do in that one he apparently rapes his niece and makes another baby disgusting it's 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 one of the it's it's horrible and it doesn't even make any sense Disgusting. <laughs> it really is. It really is. <laughs> Throw my Philly accent in there. <laughs> yeah. But that was um, disgusting, and, yeah. man. <laughs> well, I'm gonna it, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say very well done. I mean I might as well tell you this. This is my number ten pick as well. Yes. 
Mm. We got one. <laughs> we got one. We got one on the same one there. Uh, and what I said here on my notes is uh, the the whole Druid Club bullshit, <laughs> man in black thing. Uh, yep. And then the the whole part of who kidnaps Michael and Jamie, who has the power to do that? Just like you said, Michael Myers, nobody tells this guy what to do and now nah, somebody. And the whole subplot of Tommy being groomed to follow in Michael's Quiet, footsteps. Jill. Oh yeah, oh my god. Yeah, Paul Rudd that as was... Tommy Doyle was, for me, yeah. Paul Rudd as Tommy Doyle was like Vince Vaughn as Norman Bates. It's a cuck movie. It really is. It's, it's terrible. Movie. It's terrible. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> we actually agreed on one. Uh, so, I guess we're... You having trouble there, Boot? <laughs> you can light a... I know people are going to ask me in the comments, how the hell can I put number six at 10 and I put Halloween 2 at 13? <laughs> that, you're going to get a lot of shit for that one, man. You're going to get a lot for that. <laughs> Call Jamie Lee Curtis and ask her why she acted so cuck. <laughs> so we're going for, what is it, number nine? What's your number nine? Let's go for this. Number nine. Number nine for me is just a tick below and that's Halloween 5. The one right no. before the curse of Michael Myers. How dare you? How can you say this? Oh, oh, oh okay. Here we no, go. no, no. The reason I can say this is because it's mine as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's your number nine too. It's my number nine as well. So we might as well discuss this as a group here. Sounds good. So, so tell me, tell me why, tell me why, why you did like it and did not like it. So yeah, because we're getting higher in the list, there are some redeeming factors to these picks. But um, I think the, the good part for me in this movie was um, the little girl, Jamie. Um, I forget, what's her, what the actress's name? I forgot. Because she was in the Rob Zombie movies too. Danielle Harris. Danielle Harris. Okay, I loved her as a, she can be so chilling as a, like a child actress in a horror movie. Especially that ending when she looks at the at the open jail cell that's blown away and all the people and just that echoing no at the end and her screams it's just oh i i love her as it but she's also a downfall into it because in the movie beforehand she was set up to be the killer she was set up mm -hmm. to basically be like michael myers which yeah, i thought she was, was a good she was idea. basically possessed by michael myers spirit but yeah. yeah and i and i thought that that was a good way to go i was looking forward to that and then they just threw it all away you know that was just another thing about it too and also okay. the the fake out jump scares there were so many fake out scares like so many people dressed as them and it's like, oh yeah that's just what really did it for me you know it's just that's what that's okay. why i didn't like it but i think in this movie michael myers pissed me off because he was rude he was very rude he was <laughs> he was rude yeah, I mean, he gets picked up by this hermit after he's been blown to hell. Okay, yep. Yeah. I see yeah, where you know, you're going Yeah, I know where I'm hell. going with this. <laughs> he's, 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 he's rude. He's just rude. He's, in the series, he's very inconsistent with people who are nice to him. Yeah, I it's mean, like, this guy <laughs> feeds him, he takes his mask, he washes his feet, and then what does Michael do? As soon as he gets enough strength, he kills him. Exactly, yeah. It, okay, <laughs> that's fucking rude, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> rude. I'll just kill somebody else. You what the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> I can't on. believe you actually. <laughs> he's rude. It is the fact that he kills people. It's the fact that he kills people in you know in a rude way. Yeah, but kill kill bad. <laughs> yeah, I know that does. Yeah, yeah, he's rude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's fucking rude. <laughs> oh my god, that's but yeah. that's probably one of the greatest reasons I heard for not liking him. <laughs> no, he's, he's 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 rude. He's oh rude. my god, that's hilarious. That's, we move on to <laughs> we move on to part eight or number eight for Chris. Your number eight. So uh number eight for me is uh Halloween the remake by Rob Zombie. Alright, mm. so yeah, mm. I I put that one there because of okay, bad things, like I was saying before, the white trashiness, the you know, the Rob Zombie, like you know, it doesn't exp the whole thing about him being in a dysfunctional family and the very mm -hmm. stereotypical serial killer tropes, like killing the ki killing the animals and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't really explain why he's like such a supernatural, you know, killer. 
but um but I did like I, I did like his um, his loyalty to the movie. Like after once it got to like him Michael Myers' adulthood, it was pretty close to the original. Had its own little spins to it, but still felt like a real movie. Plus, you can't deny Michael Myers in this movie, even though how huge he is, it's unnaturally huge. He did look mm-hmm. very. That mask is one of my favorite masks. You know, so it did have a pretty good feel to it. I just didn't like the backstory part. That's that's mm. that's the reason. Why. So the, yeah, you don't like the whole white trash thing that's going. Yeah, on. it just it just seemed like it was not not right for the for the story. Okay, okay. Well, I, I'll get to my my reason for that specific movie because it's not my number eight pick. It's Halloween Kills that came out in two thousand and twenty one. Okay. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to bad mouth this movie, not at all. It's not a bad movie. Um, <laughs> Grandma Janie does her thing. Activia! <laughs> Activia! Yeah. Activia! Um, can I just say something about the last three movies? I'm going to sum this up in, in the nicest way I can. All the reboots, because it's what these are, they're reboots. They just yes. seem very overblown to me. I do think Michael looks amazing. I do like the fact that he's so big. I just wish he was that big in the original movie because I don't know how the hell you gain, what is it, like 13 inches in... <laughs> I wish you could do that in other places, if I can put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I don't know, it's, I don't know. It, it's a good movie. We'll, we'll move on from that. I'm, I'm a, yeah, like a, Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, no, because I can, I can, I can agree with that a hundred percent. I mean, he just like the way that he changes his physique and look throughout the whole series is, is crazy. Yeah. So, yeah it is. Yep. So, are we on number seven now? We. <laughs> <laughs> Could have qualified for a uh, honorable mention if we allowed it, okay? But since we're since we're not, my number seven is Halloween three, season of the witch. So the reason why okay. that's dead in the middle for me is because I really believe as a standalone film, not linked to the Halloween series, which is what it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be an anthology series. It's supposed to be a different different story. You know, that's the way John Carpenter wanted to take it. But because everybody was mm-hmm. so pissed that Michael Myers wasn't in it, then they went right back to it. So it sticks out like a sore thumb because it's like, why is it Halloween? But anyway, I think as a standalone film, it would have been a bigger cult following than it is right now. Because it's a very ridiculous... It's not a bad movie at all. I mean, it's a good movie. But it's 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 so over the top with the androids and the and the 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 commercial that gets stuck in your head and you know the fact that they're killing kids and it's all part of oh well this is what halloween's supposed to be it's so crazy but you can't help but still watch it you know and i think it would have been great as a standalone without being linked to halloween um but especially that ending the stop it in the and <laughs> the uh and the and the, the, the thing i'm sorry that that was kind of creepy but um but yeah it was ridiculous Few moments later, one eternity later, three days later. Well, I'm not going to dwell too much on my number seven pick because you already covered a lot of this. It's oh. Halloween. It's Halloween ends 2022, and it, it's this. It's this. The only. It's the. My number. Yeah, that's my number seven. Is uh, Halloween ends, but oh. the 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 reason for that kills is, above ends. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> it gets worse, bro. It gets worse. <laughs> yeah, because you guys still haven't even touched up on uh, on Halloween season of the Witch or whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, let's hear it. No, it's just uh, you mentioned it—the whole Corey thing. I, 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 I said in my notes, I said it. It reminds me of the WWE of Kane and the Undertaker. It's like these two guys going at it in the sewer for Michael's mask. You know, <laughs> that's. 
That's so much bullshit for me. I mean, come on, man. And, and the way bad. that he and the way that Michael was pushed over so quickly. I mean, this guy, he can stick his thumb through somebody's head, but he can't beat this guy. <laughs> well, not in this timeline. Remember, it didn't. Yeah, it yeah. didn't happen. But still. Yeah, well, but he was still, able, I mean, but he was yeah. able to crush a guy's skull in 2018 with his foot. You know, of course. Yeah, I agree. No, so. I mean, I, 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 Chris, he had better powers than that. He can look at you and you're cacking a brook. Yeah. Oh, jongens. No. Ik heb een ongelukje. Ik ben. Fuck. It's. it's... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I agree. You see this guy standing across the road. That's what makes him so fucking scary is the fact that he doesn't have any expression. You can't see his eyes. You can't see his mouth move. When he's in pain, he doesn't say anything. The new movies just fucked it up for me. It did. Yeah. It, they, like, they, look, like, look at this. Like, just this white blank face, like, you know, with no expression. It's It just it just speaks so much about him. That's I mean, yeah, all I mean, we all know the whole story of where the mask came from. It's a William, William Shatner mask that, because they didn't have any money, blah, 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 blah. But whatever, yeah. man. They, 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 don't, don't overthink it. That's what I say. Don't overthink these movies. And the, the, last, the, last three, uh, the last three did that for me. And I might as well touch up on this because my next one is Halloween 2018. Of course. For the same reason. For the uh, same okay. reason, it's all right. <sighs> Ooh, I've said this to you. Me. I've said this to you before. <laughs> that this is my number six is Halloween 2018. I don't like remakes. I don't like reboots, especially if they're done crappy. I've seen a granddad that strong. Yeah, and I'm not. <laughs> and the the whole Laurie Strode, grandma, guns in the attic, fucking hand grenades up the wherever. <laughs> No, oh, no, man, it did not work for me. This did not oh. work for me. Oh, man, this is going to be bad. So my number six is actually in the same trilogy, and that's Halloween Kills. Um, Halloween Kills for me was um, I just think what, what it was is like it, it had great kills in it. I thought that I thought that the the whole thing with Michael, the way he killed people, the way he said the bodies and everything like that, I thought that was great. Um, I love the look of them. I love the look of them, especially with that burn mask and just, I, it had a very good feel to it in my opinion. But Halloween Kills, what did it for me, the reason what thing I, I didn't like was the mob mentality. Oh yeah? Okay. The whole mob thing where they were so wrapped up in getting him that they mistook this five foot five, hunched over, overweight uh, inmate as Michael. It, evil dies tonight i'm like it's, it's not him how the hell can you be so stupid and the point where he throws that's evil what dies he, tonight. oh that evil dies tonight thing man i love anthony and michael hall because i love 80s movies but man he pissed me off as tommy doyle like leading that mob and the whole it's not him of course it's not him what the hell are you talking about but like you said you shouldn't think about him too hard but that's the reason that's why I did like I did like it overall, but the mob mentality kind of did it for me. But now you, it, now you get all these it. new movies. You get Grandma Grandma Jamie Lee Curtis running around with a fucking Bowie knife. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> That's a knife. <laughs> the Bowie knife. You really want to put big, her with Rambo, don't you? <laughs> she wants. To, she has this big knife, and you know, you know, come to my house. I put her in the basement. You know. <laughs> <laughs> No. no. Oh really. my god. No. You're not going to like my reason for where I put Halloween 2018. But anyway, my f number 5 is Halloween 4. Halloween 4, uh the oh, return of dang. Michael Myers. Oh, I know, dang. I know, right? But um I I'll say that this is I believe that this is the first Halloween movie I ever watched as a kid. I didn't even see the original. I saw that one first. You are, you and me are at the, on the exact same page as the first one I ever saw as well. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I put that one pretty high. Um, I like that. You know, it just was. You know, you have uh, Jamie Lloyd. Uh, you know, as the young girl. Like I said, I love her as the actress. I thought she was great. Um, you know, it just it had like probably one of the closest feels to the original of being such a 
terrifying, uh, you know, terrifying, you know, story of Michael Myers. Um, I, I think the things that the, the, the points that I didn't like was the look of him. I know I put that a lot in there, but I think that he was like, he, he was so stiff, you know, he looked like he was wearing shoulder, shoulder pads. I did. I do put that one, that one higher on my list because I think it's like the nostalgic feel, the kills, you know, I thought it was probably one of the better put together, um, Halloween movies of the series. Uh, but it just, there was a few things here and there that I didn't like, but there's other things in the rest of my list that put it a tick above. And I'll explain that later. Okay. Well, my number five pick. Hmm. Halloween. 2007. Rob Zombie. Oh, God. I thought you were going to say Halloween 1978. <laughs> 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 oh, man. But this was that high up the list for you? Oh, I'm going to quote you. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? changed the little bit of a change that went into it i'm not a fan of the whole origin if i can put it that way the whole white trash thing mm -hmm. this but i think the thing that's stuck out for me in this movie was the kills the kills in this movie was good yes uh, one thing what, rob zombie can do he can make some really crazy kills i mean when he smashes the boyfriend's head with the baseball bat after making himself a pastrami sandwich and uh, <laughs> he just he just stabs his naked sister after she slaps the hell out of him and it's you know the weirdest thing for me was to see that girl who played his sister uh when he stabbed his sister that's the little girl in forrest gump the little jenny the little jenny that's her now you're not, now you just ruined that move for i'm not gonna be able to watch forrest gump anymore <laughs> um plus um malcolm mcdowell like i said it's one of the greatest actors ever i, I did i did love him in this one the the follow Rob Rob Zombie one wasn't so good, but I do I did like the kills, but again I didn't like the whole overblown. This is why he became. Why but he I became. have to ask you, I have to ask you, mm -hmm. you talked about his rudeness. Yeah. This one for me had one of the rudest kills ever, and that was Danny Trejo and uh, and the um in the He's asylum. Rude. He was Myers. very rude in that one. He's he did. He was I mean, crying. Who? I was good to you, Mikey, and he completely. The no, but no, 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 that's not why it was rude. I mean, why smash up a classic TV like that, man? That, that stuff is hard to fight. <laughs> I can break the... You don't even get those bubble TVs anymore. You're like, I'm with you. No, Michael is a rude guy. Mike is a rude guy. He's... he's yeah, he mm, can be rude. <laughs> like that. But yeah, for me, that's why I put it up this high, was the kills. The kills was great for me in this thing. Okay. I can understand that. Still don't understand how Halloween 2 is so low on your list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, we on to number four now? We go for number four now. Number four for me is Halloween H2O. How now, uh, here we go. It's a how dare you. All right. So, here's how dare me. Okay. That's not right. We want <laughs> Here, well, you haven't even mentioned H2O yet, did you? No, I haven't. No, so you okay. All right, so basically H2O, the, I'm going to start with that I didn't like. I didn't like the look of Michael Myers. I One mm -hmm. thing that kills it for me for Michael Myers is if you can see his eyes. Okay, you need those black holes. It makes him so creepy, but you saw his eyes too much. But the look is really honestly what kind of did it for me. And also... Um, Jamie Lee Curtis's son was annoying. The other characters were annoying, but the movie. What do you mean belonged... it was annoying? George well, Hartnett, were... it was his first movie. Come on. That doesn't mean he can't be annoying. <laughs> he, was, he was an 18 year old school kid. Of course he's going to be annoying. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But that's, yeah. But it just, like, I didn't, I couldn't, I just didn't care about the other characters. I didn't care about them, you know? I, I cared Knocking about the showdown. Between... Jamie's son. What are you talking about? I cared more about uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's fight with Michael Myers because I knew it was coming. I saw it in the trailers before I saw that movie. And I thought that I thought I'm like, all right, I am looking forward to a showdown. And it delivered. It delivered. That fight went on forever. 
And even that false ending where you know, oh, he's in the ambulance, he's going to get up. But then Jamie Lee Curtis comes out and she takes the van and it's like, and it's like, oh, yes, we're finally breaking the, it was like it was breaking those tropes, you know, it was like breaking the uh, no, she's... stereotypes and also the kill of him at the end. Mm -hmm. All right, come on now. That was one of the greatest kills of any I'm, villain I'm, ever. I agree with you totally on that. Um, I don't agree about you bashing poor Jamie's son. He's... Yep, no. no. I, he was he was annoying. I just hated those annoying characters. But you know, like, I just didn't have care. You, okay, wait a minute. Have you liked any movies that he's ever been in? I mean, he was he was pretty good in he was pretty good in Paul Harbor. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> One of the I worst have, movies I ever. Have, I have a Josh Hartnett tattoo, so come on, man. I'm not believing that for one second. <laughs> you got to show this live if that's true. Mm. <laughs> and you got to explain I'm, that it wasn't a prank. <laughs> no, or a bet. Or a it's bet on you my, lost. It's on, it's on my bum. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. no, that, that's... Well, like that's I said, reason. I mean, it's, that's fine. That's your reason. You didn't like yep. it. Well, it's not as it's not as low as I thought you would have placed it, but I'm glad about that. Because my number four pick is Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty high up there. Okay. It is. But I, it's because it doesn't really have anything to do with that. So, in like, so actually, this this is cheating in a way. We should only talk about 12 movies then. I agree with I, you there. Yeah, yeah. I thought that we should have. We because should have it's a, it's that. a, it's a very. The only annoying thing was that uh, six more days till Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> that whole fuck. That was the that greatest commercial fucking, ever. That was that better than thing. Jamie Lee Curtis's Activia. Activia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Just when you, I remember when you sent me that. I was laughing so hard because I couldn't believe. I mean, I, I never knew. We don't get adverts like that over here in South Africa. I mean, you guys get much more TV and shit than we do. But to, I've never heard of yoga that helps you take a shit. <laughs> Whatever, man. Regulates female bowels. <laughs> oh. All right, so that was your number four. We're on. The, oh man, we're at the top three on our list. Okay, we are, all right. Let's we are sit. at. The top three. Let's uh, shock each other even more here now. All right, Halloween, uh, Halloween, two. Halloween two is my nah. number three. Nah. All right, nah. I I thought it was a good follow up. I I mean, this is where we disagree. I thought it was a good follow up. I didn't like that Jamie Lee Curtis was in the hospital bed. Same thing as Halloween Kills, um, but uh, I liked the I liked it. Yeah, it just, I liked it. I liked the first and second one as one story. I thought mm. it was pretty good. I didn't like that his weapon was downgraded to just a tiny scalpel. But uh, the showdown with Doctor Loomis and hit and Jamie Lee Curtis and all three of them at the end. Um, I thought the whole feel was great. I thought it, I thought it just was very close in tone with the first movie, and I think that's the reason why I put it up so high. Chris, I don't understand that. The, again, the acting in that thing is so bad. The acting that, is bad from scene, mostly the other characters. That one scene where the guy walks into the room, he sees the dead nurse. I mean, there's light in that room. And then five minutes later, he slips on the blood that's covered the whole floor. How did you not see that when you walk in there? I've listen. Uh, okay, hey, there was... and and, and <laughs> that one part where he drowns the nurse in the tub. I mean, the, the nurse had some nice gazoomies. But yes. um, why didn't his hand burn? Well, I mean, you know, it's, I got no answer to that. <laughs> Every time You're he right. dumps her, she comes right, up but with it. Uh, I mean, looks honestly, like a strawberry sandwich, but his hand is fine. But uh, but if is, we're really gonna, I mean, if we're really gonna dive into why did like no the logistics of it, like we're talking, we're really gonna. Nah, this, we're really nah. gonna have to open a whole new can of worms here. But no, I just I agree with the acting is terrible. But I liked it being the two movie story between the first one and the second one, and I have to, that's the reason why I put it higher up on my list. Okay, well, that's your prerogative. That's your prerogative. <laughs> I want to hear your prerogative because I think I'm probably gonna puke. But go ahead. My number three pick is Halloween, 1978.
Get back here! <laughs> not, <laughs> number three? <laughs> not even... Yep. Okay, all right, all right. All right, let's hear this. Let's hear this. I know the whole the movie started this whole slasher genre thing. You know that friend that says totally the whole time? Totally. Yes, totally. yes, yes. Totally. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. totally. totally wiped out. Yeah, I know. Trust me. I know that that totally. is terrible. The writing in it was was I'm not I'm not going to lie. The writing was bad. Ah. To me it just seems a little bit overrated. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Overrated. Okay, for all the viewers of Nightmare Cinema Club, I want to tell I want to point out that the boot just paired Halloween and overrated at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. Uh, even if you say slightly overrated, it's still okay. It's, right. Okay, okay. The movie. Okay, is, all right. The movie is slightly overrated. Ah, uh, okay. All right. It's, okay, that's your pick. That's your prerogative. I said all I did. That's in my talk. Okay. My, all right. Okay. All right. Halloween 2018. I put as number two. That is my number two. The reasons that you <laughs> that face. Either you. Either you. <laughs> Okay, let me give my reasons, okay? How just many the fucking same beer did you have? <laughs> just <laughs> one, dude. <laughs> okay, the reasons what why I said about Halloween 2 and Halloween 1 paired up as one story. I like that. It's the same thing for Halloween 2018. I thought it was a very good return, and I do like... Hey, listen, we're in a, we're in a world where you know, these retired people coming out here, like Taken and uh, Rambo, the fourth Rambo. She's been preparing for this for 40 years. That's the reason why she's so good, she does. She's preparing everything. Um, but I put that out there, it was like, there's not a lot of actual space. It was close to the first one, it was close to the first one, it was close to the But I, that's why I said that it was close to the original one. But I wasn't listening. <laughs> I know, I know you're shocked, I know you're shocked, but I want to hear, let's... Hey, yeah, yeah, right, let's, yeah, yeah, let's bring yeah. it down, let's bring it down. It's your choice, that's your choice. It's bring it down. All right. My number two pick number is Halloween. Two. Number uh, is uh, Halloween Four: Return of Michael Myers. Okay, I ranked that one high. I will say I ranked that one high. Not that high, but I ranked it high. It's. Uh, I think it comes down to it's the first Halloween movie I ever saw. I saw that one, and then I went back and saw the other ones. Halloween Four for me was truly scary. That movie scared the living hell out of me when I saw it. Yeah. I mean, that, that movie came out, what was it, 1988? So, yeah, it yeah, was I 10 was, years after. It was a 10-year I, I, was, I, was, I was pretty, I was pretty, pretty young when I saw this. And um, there's a couple of scenes that I can tell you that scared the living crap out of me. That scene where Dr. Loomis goes into the gas station, he walks around and he turns around oh. and you see you see Michael standing there, and you see that slow camera pan, and he says, "Yes, I, Michael," and yeah. you know, yes, that that old part, and he says, uh, what, "What's the line? Why now? You've waited all this time. Don't go back to Haddonfield. Leave Ooh. those people in peace." Yes, that oh. whole fucking that scared the living crap out of me when I saw that for the first. God damn you! And then Michael <laughs> gone. I still think it's crazy that you're putting a lot of these above the original, but uh, well, not a, not a lot, only one. But uh, but I will say I agree with you ranking it high because I ranked it high too, and we both had that same nostalgic feel for it because it was the first one. So yes. I I will give you a pass on that. One. I do have one criticism. There's a video on my channel that says the top what the fuck moments in horror yes. movies. Now this specific scene is in there. It's that one scene where. Michael comes walking up the stairs and Brady has a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he buggers up the shot, he sh shoots past Michael, and then Michael shoves him away. He turns the gun around, he moves him with the gun, Michael throws the gun away. And then he tries punching him. At that <laughs> point, I would turn around and fucking run. Yes. If you, yeah, if you, no, can't, if you can't knock Michael down with a shotgun into the face, run don't stand there like rocky mm -hmm. don't stand yeah, there like you're not, it's not gonna happen not don't gonna look, i'm gonna do this man you know? <laughs> no, you're not there you go we remake remake the fourth movie and make uh and make sylvester sloan brady <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, obviously not at this age. But, but I, yeah, I'm, not, so, I'm it shocked is. real quick. I have to touch up on this for Halloween 4 because I didn't mention it on mine and yours. We're talking about the kills. We're talking about the shotgun. How can we not bring up one of the greatest kills in the whole series, stabbing the girl with the shotgun? <laughs> okay. That blew me away because you look at him. He's holding the gun. You, he turns like he points like he's going to shoot. And then just boom, right through the wall. I just realized we're getting to number one, and I completely forgot which one you left out. So it's still going to be a shock to me. But yes. yours, but my number one is not going to be a shock to you. And that is the original. I have to say it's the original. I it's, figured, it's, I figured that. Yeah, now I just say because of the same reasons, because it's like you mentioned, it started the whole thing. It was done on such a small budget. Um, it was the it was like a sleeper hit, you know. You okay? It was like doing <laughs> <laughs> But I say that um, I what was I what was I just saying? Um, you know, it started off the whole genre. It, it was done on such a small budget. It was a sleeper hit. You know, it, it was. was like, yeah, it, it was, was a sleeper hit, and that's like, you know, and it just, to me, it like, yes, I, I, all that horrible dialogue aside, the totally stuff and stuff like that, but I think that this, in my opinion, was the scariest of the entire series, and it just set the tone for everything to come forward, whether it was good or bad. It just was, it just being the whole thing to be. The, the start of the whole um, slasher genre. All the stereotypical reasons you can put this for number one is my reason for number one. Okay. No, it's valid. It's like I said. Well, I'm going to shock you now because here comes my number one. It's going to pop up behind me. That's, is that H2O? Hell yeah. That's the one you did. Oh! <laughs> uh. Hear me H2, out. H2O is your number one. It's my number one. All right. Oh, Hear me I out. An, I need <laughs> another beer. Oh, I think my ass hurts. Go ahead. <sighs> yeah. Nightmare Cinema Club. And he's, H2O <laughs> is number one. What's wrong with what's wrong with H2O? This is a perfect movie. Oh, perfect! Oh god. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead. Give me out. Give me out. Give me your me your perf your reasons of perfection here. This movie was the perfect sequel to Halloween Two, the original Halloween Two, because Laurie Strode disappears. She goes away for twenty years. You never hear from her again. Uh, and then all of a sudden this movie picks up Michael is the same size he looks the same he's a bit older um, she went away became this headmistress of this private school and the fight they had was the fight they were supposed to have all along it's not overblown with shotguns and hand grenades and fucking bowie knives <laughs> it's in a completely Can neutral Completely neutral place. Can I just say one thing though? Yeah. Of all those guns that were that were in Halloween 2018, honestly, how many of them did she use in the final fight? But that's she my, only that's used my, a couple. That's my anyway. damn point. Why have all the guns then? <laughs> she didn't need them, which she proves in H2 H2O. She killed him. She hit him with a fucking axe. She kills him or she stabs him with the same knife he uses. Yeah, I didn't like some of the acting. The the, the best friend of, J of 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 Laurie Strode's son, he's a fucking dickhead. I don't like that guy. I don't know who the hell he is. But um, the kills weren't so great. But the whole story, if you look at the story from Halloween 1978, you look at 1981, Halloween 2, crappy movie, still okay. And then 20 years later, you see this. And then you see Laurie Strode at the end, chopping off Michael's head. And that's the end. That was the perfect way for me to end this series. Okay. All right. <laughs> so.
So exactly the same reasons that you just said is the same reasons for me ranking 2018 so high is because if you take that story and then 2018, except it's 40 years later, I understand it's very difficult to do all that stuff when you're so old, but the story. So, okay. I can understand because you mentioned the story. It's a bad consistency for me because Michael was the same size. He wasn't overblown. There wasn't all this fucking weird. She was still a weak woman. She didn't turn into this. She was still an alcoholic. That's the only saving grace. (laughs) In in H2O, she was still drinking like a sailor. But Uh, she, she, she didn't look, she didn't. Chris, in a way, it went from fucking north to south like this. No. No, no, no. For me, okay. this is the perfect sequel to the first two movies. Wow. Okay. I told you, Mike, what do you think? Hmm. He's walking towards you to kill you because you mentioned H2O was the, was the best. All right. All right. I will say that this list did exactly what I wanted it to do for me coming on to your channel is this list shocked me but it was also very entertaining we can all hear each other out and say like the reasons why and um I mean the, this, uh, Chris, the, these lists, the these the lists day, that we just did were just incredible I, I loved it Chris at the end of the day it doesn't really change anything these movies are still timeless classics they're still movies Most, that people that people are going to watch uh, for a long time and uh, it's like I said in the beginning of this video some people like fish some people like chicken some people like beef yeah it's that's just the way it is and for you going from Halloween original so low to 20 H2O is like going from a steakhouse to, to McDonald's this, the only reason that <laughs> Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Exactly. So, <laughs> I want to thank I want to thank my buddy Chris for coming on this video with me, and uh, thanks so much, Chris, for doing this, taking the time out to do this, and uh, we will definitely do this again. So, uh, we're gonna love and leave you from the Nightmare Cinema Club. Please check out Chris's uh, drum channel at Throwback Drummer. Okay, guys, we will see you guys in the next episode of A Bloody Mess, and uh, we'll see if we can shock each other some more. Thanks again for having me on this. I really appreciate it. This was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do the next one. Thank you so much, Boot. Okay, Chris. It's a it's a it's a huge pleasure. We will see you guys again. And like like I always say, my dear friends, keep well, stay safe, and enjoy the fear. Cheers, my friends. Cheers.